What is a GPU? You may have heard of a CPU or central processing unit in our previous video, but what about a GPU? GPU stands for graphics processing unit. A GPU is the processing chip on a video card that handles all the graphics related tasks. Have you watched our video on the difference between memory and storage? In that video, we compared the inside of a computer with a kitchen. For example, we cook our hamburger patties and onions on the oven. We keep the ingredients we're currently using for our hamburgers on our countertop, like the buns, tomato and lettuce. And then we store all our ingredients and cooking equipment and final food for all our monthly meals in cupboards and fridges. I explained that the oven is like the CPU, processing the task you are working on. The countertop is like memory or RAM, which stores the programs and files that you are currently working on, like the Excel program and the spreadsheet files. And the cupboard and fridges are for storing that data in storage, permanently in the computer's hard drive or on a flash drive. Now, I love chips for my burgers, so I want to cook them while I prepare the burgers. I could cook them on the stove in some oil or bake them in the oven, but I have a special separate device, a deep fryer, which is specifically designed for cooking chips and other deep fried goodness. The deep fryer is separate to the oven, and it is designed to cook chips really well. So I will place my chips in the deep fryer. Not only will my chips be done better compared to if they were done in the oven, it also helps me free up space on my oven to finish the burgers and onions. I'm not slowed down by doing everything on the oven. The deep fryer is handling the specific task by itself. Now the deep fryer is like the GPU. It handles the very specific task of the graphics of the programs. Sure, your oven, I mean your CPU, can handle these tasks, but with a GPU, not only does this free up processing power for the CPU to do other tasks, but the GPU is really good at managing those graphical tasks. The CPU is considered like the brain of the computer, handling general tasks like calculations, running programs, and managing the computer's overall performance. On the other hand, the GPU is specialized in handling complex graphics calculations, especially in games, handling tasks like rendering 2D and 3D graphics, processing video playback, running graphical user interfaces, and accelerating image and video editing processes. You know those awesome video games with breathtaking graphics? Well, GPUs are the secret behind that. When you play a video game or use visual applications, the GPU takes over the heavy lifting of rendering all those stunning visuals. It speeds up the process providing smooth gameplay, realistic animations, and fantastic visual effects. In data science and artificial intelligence, GPUs speed up complex calculations required for training machine learning models and running simulations. In video editing, they accelerate the rendering process, making editing and post-production tasks more efficient. An essential aspect of the GPU is parallel processing. Think of it as having multiple artists working together on different parts of a painting simultaneously. Parallel processing is when the GPU performs multiple tasks at the same time. GPUs excel in this area because they have many smaller cores that they can work together in parallel. These GPU cores, or CUDA cores as they are also referred to, are designed to make multiple calculations at a time when using graphically demanding software. This makes them highly efficient in handling complex graphics calculations and boosting the performance. The GPU cores perform the calculations, the memory stores the data, texture units handle texture mapping, and the rasters convert the data into pixels for display. VRAM, or Video Random Access Memory, is dedicated workspace where the GPU stores graphical data, textures, and frame buffers. It's the GPU's very own countertop or memory. This is often a different technology compared to normal computer RAM because it needs to be read rapidly to draw the image. When it comes to choosing a GPU, consider factors like if the graphics card is for your laptop or desktop. Desktop graphic cards have several advantages over laptop graphics cards. They allow for more powerful components because of the more space and better cooling. As a result, desktop PCs offer higher specs and more affordability due to their less compact hardware and lower manufacturing costs. On the other hand, laptop graphics cards are optimized for power usage and designed to fit within the slim chassis of laptops, benefiting from advanced thermal and electrical technology. However, the portability and quiet operation of the laptop graphics cards means they are more pricey, as the components needed for power efficiency are more expensive to produce. The more memory a GPU has, the more detail it can process. The amount of memory you need in a graphics card ultimately depends on what resolution you want to run your software or games. AMD and NVIDIA are currently the two major manufacturers of GPUs on the market. They both use different letter designations and numbering systems to indicate the different models and series. It's best to do your research on these as they are constantly changing and you want to know what are the latest models and series when you do get a new GPU. 
When buying a computer, you may hear about the terms dedicated graphics versus integrated graphics. Dedicated graphics refer to a separate GPU that is more powerful and specialized for graphics tasks. It is perfect for demanding tasks like gaming and video editing. On the other hand, integrated graphics are built into the CPU itself and share memory. They are more basic and suitable for everyday tasks like web browsing and office applications. Now that you know everything you need to know about graphical processing units, you can now appreciate all the intricate workings that happen inside your computer when you play that first person shooter game or go on an underwater quest. Support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And let us know which videos you want us to do next. And follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.